Hello. Good morning. I'm King Posh, your host for today's show. And today we are looking at the 1958 Austin Martin DBR1. I just got this in a wheel spin. Um, and I haven't had one before and I figured I would make a video of it. Uh, I don't know much about the car. I do not know what it sounds like, but we're going to find out. So there's all the performance uh, stats right there that you guys can see. So let's get right into it and let's take a look at it. Now I did give it a, um, a paint job. I didn't like the green, but that's all. So let's have a look at it. At the lights here. These are very bright lights. Can we look at the engine? Yes, we can. Wow. That's a big engine. Can I look in the engine? A little bit. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a gorgeous engine. I think it's a gorgeous engine. Very big. And open up the doors. Those, those are some thin doors. Look at that. You got the, the battery right there. And maybe the gas tank. Maybe. Alright. Let's look in here. Not much of a trunk. You can... You can see the, you know, the, the back end pretty darn well. And you, know, you can see right through it. You know, it's got the differential in plain view. And whatever that little box is. Let's, uh, let's get in and listen to it. Uh, is there I see a horn ah there it is we're gonna have to go turn off music so we don't get in trouble for that sounds pretty good dip head side let me know in the comments Hello, what that means. Sweet. All right. Let's uh, let's get out on the road with it. But first, we're gonna turn off the music. Um, the streamer stuff should be gone all the time, but it, it never does it. And you always gotta go in here. And, and put streamer mode on just so then you can make videos and not um, get hit with you know music violations and you gotta do it every single time sounds pretty good Got a nice pickup. It's floaty. You have arrived at your destination. Good. It's a nice car. That makes slow speeds. Get on it. Well, for 1958, this thing is pretty fast. And it's racing. Very floaty. Big steering wheel. And it's gonna go right into the spot bushes. And off, off, off the cliff. We're fine. Whew. So, a little work needs to be done there. And nice brakes. 
can't really sit here and burn out. Do a rolling burnout. Get a nice view from the outside. Seeing how it does going uphill. To try to drift it around this turn. It drifts a little bit, and then the grip kicks in. Drop it again. It's got five gears. A bad little car. Let's see what we can do to it. Alright, once those guys go away, what can we do to it? Well, here's the stock. You can put a 3.2 liter uh, inline six in there, or you can put a four cylinder in there. You, of course, can make it all-wheel drive. You can have a single turbo or a supercharger. Not too bad. You can put a race front bumper called a lip and a rear spoiler. Pretty nice. Many tire options. Not too bad, 6.6 .6 right off the bat. On those thin tires. Yeah, it's a 0 to 60 with those. Oh, well, that's not too bad, and it says it has a top speed of 180. But without that, it's got a top speed of 178. Give just the norm stuff, give it a six speed. Nice. You got race and you got rally, no drift. So, but I mean, you can't drift here. And no r uh, race weight reduction. And apparently no roll cage. Odd. Well, let's give it some power and see what we can do. So there's the stock. Let's go. Let's see how much power the original engine can get. Okay, so 426. Still weighs under 2,000 pounds. Now we're going to put single turbo in there. Let's see what it gets. Okay, 510. 538 and then it's 2,000 pounds. That's 2,000 pounds there. Okay. Still 2,000 pounds, 510. It's around the same numbers. Um, for the supercharger also uh, Not bad, it's only an A733 um, and or it goes to over 200 miles an hour I mean that was 510 All right, it's a little lighter 538, which is better. You know, it's a it's a 735, so that's not that's not too shabby. 
And we'll give it some, you know, some of that. Let's see what happens when we put some tires on there. Okay, that's going to take it way up. And we can use the vintage um, race tower compound. Keep that class up there. And look at that, we can even make it, you know, more flush. Usually, I, I like to make them flush. I don't always go all the way. I usually go like one or two in. But we'll, we'll keep them. We'll keep it flush. Let's look at the. Uh, oh yeah, look at that! You can get some nice beefy rear tires for this. And, oh yeah. N now we're cooking with peanut oil. Get the. Yeah, it's like there's there's nothing. Just adds weight. Really. That's all done. It would be an eight oh three for some downforce on that. Don't know if I would need any because of the big beefy rear tire. It's not all-wheel drive. We're not going to make it all-wheel drive, but here's what it would be like. It would go right to an S1820. It's still not too bad. So let's go with what we got right there. That's 71,000 credits. It's a little heavier. Um, twice the horsepower. And we'll see what it does. All right. To get out there, let's listen to it to see what it sounds like. I try to use the stock motor so people want to open up the hoods and whatnot. Very nice turn, but we're going to go left. Take it off first. See if that car decides to go right back to work. Oh gosh, here we go. Real right the track. They are the vintage racers. Right, your destination. New pets. That is fun. That was a fun little car. That was a very fun car. She's a pecker. There's that same car. He's out to hunt me. A little 
little bit all over the place at, at some points. Going right back up the hill. Let's see how she does. Some A class struggle to hit like a 137 up the hill. This, no problem. Plenty of power. It needs a tune. But other than that, rid right out of the box, not bad. Need some braking. Like I said, needs a tune. I not know what that white was, but whatever. So not a bad car. What do you guys think about this car? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm P I'm King Posh. Peace out.